Want a rad new trash t-shirt? We'll head over to the Gasol Cash shop on Teespring and buy yours today. We can promise you one thing, dude. It's trash. Hey, what's happening, everybody? Wow, the lights aren't that bright, are they? Mm-mm. They look like we're in a dark room. Well, yeah, the camera's not where it should be either. What do you want me to move it? No, you can just leave it there. It's weird. It is what it is. Look, you got the big Funko sign back there. Remnants. Of uh, things we have down here in the gasol, because we will be moving. Uh, we are T minus how many days now? Like um, eight? No, five. <laughs> no, no. I mean, actually, like, going to be, have to be out of this house. It, oh, you, I swear to God, tonight, she is like Can you tri- get my tripping thing? all over the place. And now she's knocking everything to the floor. What's happening? Here. So we have to move out of here by not this upcoming Thursday, but the Thursday after. I gotta change this light. It's getting my nerves. Hold on. Can you change the camera while you're at it? Wh- why? You What's told happening? me I'm tripping no, everywhere. This like is you. Come yeah. On. Okay. Well, does that explain why I'm tripping everywhere? Ugh. So we purchase our new home this Friday, and we have to be out of this one the thursday after this friday so things are a mess right now and weird and um yeah is that it i mean i i expect you to to uh i expect you to to talk to these people while i'm doing what i'm doing here oh well, what do you want me to say i don't know say something cool you're cool hmm is that gonna be too tall or too short for me no. You think that's good? Mm-hmm. All right, there we go. Yeah, that's great. That looks great. Well, I hope everyone did good for NYCC. Yeah, me too. I hope you guys did okay for NYCC. Um, again, we're you know just as a heads up, you'll notice that like all the hot toys are gone. We're like almost out of this place. Uh, things are moving rather quickly. We had a bunch of boxes down here earlier. We finally moved all the boxes upstairs. So before long, you guys are going to see us at a brand new place. And I can't give you an idea of what that's going to look like yet because I really don't know. In fact, I haven't even selected the room where we're going to be. Nope. So there's a lot of big question marks above my head right now. We're going to have to figure everything out as we go along. Um, There probably will be a weird transition where we either don't post for a few days or we post in like odd locations or don't really have any pops behind us. I don't know how that's going to work out because when we move, we're getting stuff painted and we're probably going to hang shelves after that, I would imagine. Yes. And we don't even know what shelves we're hanging because we don't even know what room we're going to be hanging them in. So bear with us, What is all over your shirt? Oh, um, I have no idea. Oh, my God. It's a mess. Uh, So tonight, let's get off the topic of our new move. We'll get we'll talk a little bit more about that. Thank you, guys. What the? I am so done. I'm done. I'm ready to send the line. I didn't touch it. I did not touch it. I swear, Heather. It didn't happen until you... (laughs) I had this taped, and you untaped it. It was on there, because that thing sucks. Okay. Maybe you should get a better one. So, here is Baby Yoda. This came in from Amazon a couple days ago. I pre-ordered this, like, well before New York Comic Con. So, tonight, we're going to be giving one of these away. I ordered two, with the expectation that we would give one away. So, this is going to be the one we give away. I'll unbox it. I haven't seen this thing out of the box yet. Although, I don't think it's much different than all of the other Baby Yodas other than him holding a necklace. I already have two others. I think one is like the normal Baby Yoda. And then the other one is like him doing the Force. This one, he's holding the little Mandalorian necklace. And he's he's cute, I guess. I mean, I don't know. Somebody talked about, oh, this one's going to be just as popular as the Mandalorian. Look how horrible this light is. I can't take it. 
here, here. <laughs> I, I hate, I just hate everything tonight. Seriously, why do we do this? We're in the middle of this move and I can't get anything right. Hold on. Oh gosh. Are we ever going to talk about all this? Oh my God. What are you doing? Oh my God. What is happening? I'm so sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I'm sorry. There's a lot of distractions and it's a all free Chris's show fault. Of me destroying my old home. Well, don't be sorry about that. Better them than us, I guess. Okay, so I fixed it. So here's Baby Yoda, and somebody mentioned, oh, he's going to be just as popular as the Mandalorian from 2019. Wrong. He will not be. He isn't. Who people thought are, that? People aren't flocking Who for this one. Who thought that? Uh, somebody posted in the comment section somewhere, one of our videos, I bet maybe, it was or you. somewhere. Like, no, it wasn't me. I bet it was you. I wouldn't you. have said that. I wouldn't have said that. Come on. Are you crazy? No, the lights didn't go out. My big light fell over. It has a loose, like, ball bearing thing it sucks i'll get it fixed hopefully soon no we won't hopefully uh i'm seeing a lot of comments uh pop life toys has said trash a couple of times trash yeah he thinks you're trash i'm trash well listen we all have our own opinions i could be trash we don't know we haven't figured that quite out yet are we donald ducking it tonight really funny story about that actually. really funny story really funny story about that let me take this thing off because i'm hot um, so tonight I'm, a, or earlier today, rather, I was in the shower and get, you know, getting, getting ready for the day and Heather, Heather comes to the door as I'm getting undressed. And for whatever reason, I decided I'm going to brush my teeth before my shower. So the shower is now running. <laughs> I've already used the toilet or whatever. I've already peed. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to brush my teeth while, you know, the water warms up. So I'm brushing my teeth. And I hear Heather bang on the door. And what I did not realize in that moment is before, like after I used the toilet and grabbed my toothbrush, I decided to drop my pants and underwear, but only leave my shirt on. So now I'm brushing my teeth and I, I can't, obviously I can't talk. So I'm brushing my teeth and boom, boom, boom. It's Heather. I got to go to the bathroom. Is it okay if I come in? And I opened the door and I was laughing so hard. I thought I was going to throw up and I looked at her. I'm going hard, hard, hard. And she's like, what? And I'm like, hold on, hold on. So I close the door. <clears throat> I spit everything out. I opened the door back up and I was like, Heather, I was Donald ducking it for real. <laughs> the, I think it was really honestly the first time in my life I've ever Donald ducked it. I Donald ducked today for the very first time. It was the greatest feeling ever. Yeah. And before you guys like say anything weird, like occasionally I like if Chris is inside of the shower, I will like come in and use the bathroom really quick. Just number one and then leave quickly. <laughs> It's not weird. We're married. It might be weird, but it's only weird if Chris is brushing his teeth with no pants and a shirt on. That's right. Don Dean Blockley said I was porky pigging it. I've never heard that one before, That, but that's fantastic. I like that. Um, Shrek Master says Heather should say cringe as her catchphrase. Oh, that's awesome. Classic Chris, Gene Millip says. Uh, Patrick Norman says nice, Chris. Yeah, so here I am. Donald ducking it just days after we were making jokes about it. So how did you guys do for New York Comic Con? New York Comic Con was a big deal um, for all of us Funko fans and for collectible fans around the around the world. Tiny Ghost dropped, Abominable Toys. Oh my god. Can we really quick talk about how Tiny Ghost is becoming the next Funko with the amount of freaking drops that they have? Actually, had? we'll go over some of those drops oh uh, here my in a god. moment. Good. It um, was insane. But NYCC treated us well, considering that we won the lottery. We didn't have too much to worry about on the Funko side of things. As far as tiny ghosts go, we were able to only get a couple due to a friend. Uh, a lot of people were eating those things up all at the same time, and there were only like 100 counts being dropped. We did get one tiny ghost. It's the devil one. He was like a 400 count, I think. For whatever reason, I was lucky enough to get it. I was happy about that one, so that was cool. Um the Abominable Toys, on the other hand, we did get those uh, for NYCC 2020, which I was really happy about because last year I was at New York Comic Con and I picked up the uh, two chomps there, which kind of really kicked off my collecting of chomps. So that was really cool. Uh, so this year, I, being home, being stuck in, not really going out and hunting. I know a lot of you guys did, but we really didn't go out hunting. And that's okay. I'm, I'm okay with staying home and not doing all that. Well, I did go out hunting, but I didn't find anything. You did go hunting? Yes. Okay. Well, I, I'm just, I didn't feel comfortable of going out and just running around with a bunch of people. And I also didn't want to stand in a bunch of lines. I, I don't no, know. No, I didn't stand in lines. I was just not I too. I was very 
yeah, yeah I, I was just not too in, into all that um drama ensued your boy snowden says in regards to his new york comic-con yeah i told hunt. i told him that i want to hear the drama oh okay uh Good. magic man says that we should pre-record our next few videos and uh post them at the normal times and days yeah, yeah we are probably going to do something like that but if like funko news comes up I don't know how those videos are going to be. Yeah, it's going to be hard. I, I think what we're going to do is just sort of record anywhere we can, even if it means it's in the car. Um, just enough for me to edit something down. It might not even be as edited as usual. It might not look as great as it usually does, but I'll try to put out the best content we possibly can for this upcoming week. Um, I'm two hoping weeks. Or two weeks. I'm hoping not to miss any days. Um, like, I'm really hell-bent on powering through the next couple of weeks and putting videos out. But if I can't, I can't, but I'm going to do my best to do so. Uh, there was something I wanted to talk about, and now I can't remember what it was. And it was in regards to NYCC and in regards to Virtual Con. Now I can't remember what it was. However, I did want to mention one thing. I was on, um, let me go and find this again very, very quick. Somebody, I think it might have been uh, one, of, one of the folks in the Gasolcast group, John Page posted a photo of the Miles Morales Funko yes. Pop out of box. And I hope, oh, here it is. I just want to show this for a moment because I, to be honest with you, I'm kind of black, uh, um, uh, shocked over this. This thing looks really cool. I told you it was cool. No, I understand that. I'm just, it's cool, but I don't want it, if that makes sense. Like, I think it's really neat and it's a really cool looking piece. The point I'm making is it looks so much better than it did in the glams. They didn't do this one justice, in my opinion. Seeing it here, it looks fantastic. The little crown on the head there, the little Funko crown, is mm -hmm. really dope. It is. Like, that kind of makes me want to buy it just because of that, but I don't well, think I will. they're all different. Oh. They're all different. So you might not see one with a Funko crown like that. Yeah, that, that's one that I think a lot of people down the road are going to want. The Daredevil one is trash. I saw but trash. It looked horrible, but the Miles Morales one is actually a cool one. I dig it. I yeah, really do. Really, I really dig it's it. It's really, really cool. Somebody says, uh, Population says, did you guys see the Funko photo a day? Is there another challenge? Ooh, I did get not here. see that. So Funko, not to get completely off topic, but for a while, Funko used to do this thing where they had the Funko photo a day challenge that would last, I don't know, like two weeks or so, maybe even less, maybe a week. Um, and Funko photo a day challenge was great. And then they changed to this thing. Yep. October oh, 19th. Oh, excellent. It so they changed to this thing last year where it was like random. It was like three days and then you did Funko photo a day. Channel. I don't know, but it was different and it wasn't the same and I did not like it at all. This one appear, appears to be the same way that they used to do it. Am okay. I right or am I wrong? So I don't, I didn't follow you because I'm so excited about this. So each day <clears throat> they're putting out. Is that up on Funko? I'm just going to pull that up. Maybe they're putting out a, um, different challenge each day from the 19th through the through the 31st and the first one on the 19th is feeling like fall 20th is shelfie 21st is green 22nd throwback thursday 23rd fashion friday so on and so forth where are you seeing this instagram oh it's on instagram yeah you can can you pull up instagram yeah i can pull up instagram but anyway Basically, you interpret it how you would like to interpret it. Um, feeling like fall, it can be a fall-themed pop. It can be a random pop in some leaves. It can be um, a pop next to a pumpkin spice latte. I don't know. Whatever you want it to be. Um, but yeah, that I'm pretty excited. I like that one. So my favorite of this one, let me just look through them. I like Scary. Scary is a cool one. Funko Game Night always gets me because, I don't know, Funko Game Night is always a hard one for me to kind of come up with. I like to make cool photos. I don't like to make one that, I don't know, like, I feel like I have to come up with something really out there for Funko Game Night. Yeah, personally. I normally just put, like, a pop next to a, my PlayStation controller and call it a day. How many photos on October 22nd for Throwback Thursday are going to be that new Funko Pop 
uh, what's her name? Robin Sparkles. Because it's like an 80s character. Or oh, 90s I character. see. I have a feeling that that one's going to be very popular this year. Maybe. Yeah, I really do. Um, yeah. So the Funko Photo Day Challenge starts on October the 19th. We have a problem, though. All of our pops are packed up. Mm. Maybe we should try to figure out how to keep some aside or, or just mark well, a box so we can get them out. Yeah, I know where all my boxes are. So when we move stuff, I'll like gently leave like a few aside. Like I'll root through a couple boxes and figure out what I'm doing for each of those days. Okay. Well, good idea. Uh, let's see. Who do we have here? Uh, Instagram, perhaps. Oh, uh, Jonathan Velasquez says Instagram, perhaps you heard of it. How about letting trash pops fall in the trash? Not a pumpkin spice latte. I'll just use Funko Verse for family game night population. That's a great idea. Brian Barrick. I'm only on MySpace and Ask Jeeves. Oh, my God. Ask Jeeves. I haven't heard that one in a long, long time. Um, lottery system for a Funko shop exclusive that may not happen. That may happen. Funko Lottery, since we're on the topic of New York Comic Con and Virtual Con 4, really hoping, and I know a lot of people may, may disagree with me on this, I really hope they keep the lottery system in place. I, I think even if I didn't win, it was nice to see that people – we're able to get in there and get what they want. If you're a part of the Gas with Cast We Hunt Together group on Facebook, if you're not there, you should go and join. But if you're a part of that group, it, a lot of people like Heather, um, who won the lottery, were reaching out to help their friends. So Heather ended up helping, I don't know, like four people, yeah. five people. And these are with yeah. NYCC stickers. In fact, I helped somebody myself, too, because I ordered from Funko Shop the other day when they did the public you know, order. And I just ordered a bunch of pops. As you know, I always order extra like Funko Pops, even if they're ones I don't like, so I can use them for giveaways because I'd rather spend, you know, <clears throat> at cost instead of going out and buying high-end Funko Pops for a lot of money to give away. It's just easier to do it this way, which is why I'm giving away Baby Yoda tonight because I got it for $10 or whatever. So we'll be giving him away in a little bit, by the way. Um, but I think the Funko Lottery was brilliant. I think it was a great move on their part considering – all of the fiasco that we've been dealing with all year for virtual cons, Heather. Um, how are you feeling about this? Are you with me? Sort of. I mean, it seemed like the Funko shop wasn't as crazy as it was for SDCC. And I have the feeling probably the same amount of people were on that website in comparison to SDCC. You know, maybe not as much because sdcc was during the pandemic like big time during the pandemic now jobs are coming back so maybe certain people like weren't were at work and weren't able to get on i don't know i wish i knew but um it seemed to not be as slow as sdcc so i'm thinking like lottery aside i'm thinking that they did something with the website so it can handle more traffic right Okay. That's my guess. I don't know. I don't know if there were less people on or if it was able to handle more. Um, I I have mixed feelings about the lottery because it was super disheartening to see the amount of people who were upset about the lottery. But people were upset because Funko didn't quite explain it as well as they should have. I got gotcha. you. And that really sucked. Like, <clears throat> they totally set aside Funko Shop Pops for the general public. Right. Just as I thought. Like, even the Pixie and Dixie, who were, what, 3,500 count? Is that right? Uh, I want to say, yeah. There were some up on Friday. And you know 11,000 people didn't pass by those. Like, they had to have sold out during the lottery days. There's no way that they didn't, if there's such a limited count. Well, no. that's. I think that you're wrong there. I think that a lot of people went on the lottery. There have there were some people who went on specifically for Snake and Ben. True. But there's I, a lot of I people still, that aren't going just for a limited con, account. A lot of people went on because they just wanted to get what they wanted. Yeah. I don't know. It still blows my mind that those two didn't sell out and they were limited. Like, all the pops that were shared with Funko Shop were up on the Funko Shop the following day, inclu to include She-Ra. Well, I would suggest that Pixie and Dixie aren't that popular, not that well known. Probably, and but she even, Hold on. She even when I went on the Funko.com the other day to buy the public sale, I skipped right over them. Like, I didn't think about buying. I should have bought, per, like, purchased them. It would have been a good, like, giveaway item in the future to have both of them. And it's like, hey, they're a limited count. But they're easy to look over. Like, nobody gives a shit about them. In fact, a what I. A lot I'm, of people do. Hannah what, Barbera? What I, what I like a lot now, actually, is the fact that people are i mean people funko they're not revealing the limited count number yes on a lot of things they did with 
Ben, but they did not with Snake and they did not with Boba Fett. And Boba Fett was incredibly last minute. It wasn't on anything that Funko had shared. Right. So there's Boba until Fett. The la- until the very last second. So Boba Fett was one that, who knew, 1K. Now somebody got into like this little, like, I don't know, I don't even want to call it a spat, but in this little conversation with me on the Gas Cast We Hunt Together group, and they're like, well, how didn't you know, you know, how, how did people not know it's a thousand count? Well, I didn't. I didn't pay attention to well, it. Well, no, I no, just... no. They came back and they were like, well, <laughs> it was a limited piece and you could tell by the it was like a very blurry picture. But I, I didn't even I didn't even recognize that to be honest with you. No, like, I didn't personally either. I didn't. I didn't look for that. I was just looking at the pop and I thought instantly, I don't need this because I don't really collect Boba Fett. I yeah. mean Boba Fett's okay, and but I'm not a huge collector of that character. Yeah, and then after the first time slot, you saw that you had to purchase the bundle where the pop, the twenty dollar pop, came with an eighty dollar bag, a stupid looking bag if you ask me. And not really. I I actually think the bag is cool. It's cool, but not full. Not f- like I wouldn't wear that around. No. Well, but Star Wars fans would. Like I understand Maybe. you wouldn't, but Star Wars fans would probably wear. Like I'm not saying I would either. I love Star Wars, but, it's but like, I would it, wear it around. To but me, it looks like a mini backpack. It's a cool backpack. I mean, it's different. I, I don't would. Think it's, I wouldn't wear. I don't it. think it's worth a hundred bucks along with the lounge Boba fly Fett. is very expensive. True. Very, True. very expensive. Well, but a hundred do- the hundred dollar price tag plus you're forced to buy this bag. I mean, you know, unless someone knows for a fact that it's a thousand count, no one's buying it. So they wanted a hundred dollars for this set. And Heather was like, Do you want this? This is lottery day. Do you want this? And I was like, uh, no. So Jason Swoboda, by the way, Jason will not be here tonight. He's uh, actually away, so there will be no heroic nonsense. This will be what we're talking about this evening, just as a heads up. Um, we reached out to Jason, too, because he's a Boba Fett fan, so a Boba Fett, and he was like, that price tag is very high. I don't think I'm going to do it. Well, little did we know it would have a thousand count, and now this Funko Pop is going for obscene prices on eBay. Will it hold that price? No. I don't know. Well, here's the thing. With this particular Funko Pop, and I, it's I'm part not, of a set. I, it's I know. Boba Fett, I'm not going to be a. I'm not, I'm not going to be a hype man. All I'm saying is that this is a part of a set, and this is a very popular set. It's the art series set. A lot of people go for the art series set. Target drops these all the time. I have a feeling this is going to be one of those ones that's almost the Grail territory. I think this overshadows characters like Snake Plissken and Ben. I think this one is going to be one that we're talking about like from a, like a year from now. We're going to say, remember the legendary Boba Fett that dropped? And it's going to be a joke. Remember it dropped with the bag and people didn't buy it because it was $100? Well, now look at it. He's 800 bucks. It's something like that. Maybe. It could, it could really go either way, and most pops can. I think... That it's going to follow a trend like most pops do where it's really high right now and then it's going to drop a bit, probably like halfway. Right. And then it might go back up a little more, but I don't see it staying at seven or eight hundred. But who knows? It could. Um, Angle is saying Futura. I, I don't know. Is this one considered Futura? That one's considered Futura. Don't, don't hold me to that because I don't know them well enough. I know some are Futura and then some aren't. It's a whole thing. But here, this is a pop I really want to talk about. So this is Plastic Empire, their very first con exclusive, which is a very big deal for them. I had somebody contact me today, or not contact me, but like post, I think on Jetta's Patrol page. Uh, this is not a, a an NYCC convention exclusive. And I'm like, wait a minute, it has a convention exclusive sticker on it. It does. It, this is an NYCC convention exclusive sticker. Now, if we go back and look back, way back in time, when Funko wasn't as quite as big as it is today. Funko, or, or smaller stores rather, would have Funko Pops that they would they would have as exclusives. In fact, I was hoping I'd have one here right now, but I don't think I have one. But they would have like these low counts like Scooby-Doo's and stuff like that from these little shops you've never really heard of before. Um, this is sort of in the same vein as that. In fact, think about the last time you saw a very small company like Plastic Empire, they're not huge, that had an exclusive like this. That's kind of, kind of a big deal if you think about it. It's a if, huge deal. And and I'm I'm very jealous of all the people that were able to obtain this guy because this guy is super cool. Although there is no plutonium or um, bright green Marty McFly in the films, this is a cool one to go along with your, your set. And there was a glow-in-the-dark um, Dr. Brown, Dr. Emmett Brown, years yes. ago. Um, I don't Wasn't know. that the um, the box? 
Wasn't that from the box? No, it's no, not that was a con. That was another one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um, Kagan McKenney wants you to know that he found the Beetlejuice from Walmart. Oh, good. I'm very happy. Awesome. Congratulations. A lot of people are are complaining about this particular Funko Pop, and the reason why they're complaining, uh, we made a video about it a couple nights ago, but I'll go back into it again because why not? And if and if you want to go and watch the video, go and watch the video after this. This Funko Pop dropped at forty bucks. Um, and the reason why the, the Funko Pop dropped at 40 bucks is because I am sure it was really hard for Plastic Empire to obtain this Funko Pop as an exclusive. Yeah. There's some weird thing that we have no idea about. We don't know anything about it. All I can tell you is that getting a Funko Pop like this as an exclusive couldn't have been easy. Right. And I can guarantee you that it has everything to do with why it was forty dollars. What I pay forty dollars for it is probably your big question, and that answer is yes. I would pay forty dollars for this all day. This is something totally different. It has two stickers on it we've never seen before. There's one convention exclusive sticker on there that we've never seen before. We may never get again. The Plastic Empire sticker we possibly could see that again because Plastic Empire will drop more exclusives hopefully going uh, moving forward. This thing's dope. And if you don't think it's dope and you wouldn't pay 40 bucks, then you won't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. People well, are, people are like, well, is it $40? And they're, and they're causing all these battles. And it's like, dude, if, if you're not willing to pay the 40 bucks, then shut up. Like, what's the matter? Well, like, what, come on. Why are you making a big deal out of it? What upsets me the most is that Plastic Empire is a smaller company, right? Yes. So they're not small as in like they're not Target. They're not Walmart. They're not selling, you know, a million Funko Pops in a year. Right. Right. So the fact that they have this exclusive is huge news. Number one, you've already said that, but I just wanted to reiterate because it's really freaking cool. Number two, they are a smaller company and because they are a smaller company, they have less people who frequent than your targets and walmarts etc cetera, etc cetera. Sure. they do not deserve to be crapped all over whether you agree with the price tag or not whether you agree um with their method of putting it up and bots getting to it the fact that they went in and manually manually canceled at least, pro- I would assume at least 1,500 bot orders. Sure. That's my guess. At least half of those were bot orders. I did not see, I think, more than two people on the first drop say that, hey, I got this Marty McFly. In all of the Funko Facebook groups I'm in, which, by the way, is a lot. I'm in probably at least 20 Facebook groups dedicated to Funko only. I probably saw maybe two posts of people saying that they were able to get the Marty. Sure. They manually went in, canceled duplicate orders, canceled orders that looked like bot orders, put them back up on the website with a password to allow real collectors to get it. Well, that shows me that they care about collectors. They sure. don't want them in the hands of resellers. And why would they try to w- rip collectors off? The reason for the $40 price tag is 100% a good reason. I know this for a fact. They're not Gemini Collectibles who's putting up, what was it, the Carl and Ellie for $150, like a day well, after release. Gemini's been doing that for years. I so. know they have, but if you're going to be mad at anybody, be mad at them. Why are you mad at at Plastic Empire for selling a pop for $40? Well, Zach Bonifer, it's 40 Zach Bonifer throws out a, a, a little <clears throat> comment here that says, Plastic Empire is a bit sketchy. I'd like to know why, Zach Bonifer. I love Zach Bonifer. I would... And I would trust what, however you feel or what you would say uh, specifically. I'd love to know why you think they're sketchy. That that would be interesting to me and probably to Heather as well. Yeah. Because um, Dustin Kim is a really good guy. Um, I reached out to Dustin Kim a couple of it's times about different chomp things and stuff like that. Just such a great guy. Very down to earth. Um, we made a video for him. Uh, I believe it was for SDCC. Just kind of talking about upcoming things from uh, Plastic Empire. It wasn't a very well received video. It didn't seem to get a whole lot of views. Um, I was hoping to help him a little bit more, but of course that didn't happen. Uh, but we would love to work with him again in the future because a lot of the things that they're doing are, are right up our alley, uh, like chomps. I mean, they just had an in store chomp signing uh, just the other day. Yeah. Um, what was it? A week and a half to two weeks ago? Yeah. With, um, with Connor was there. And the, uh, the, the, the girl who was behind, where is, where is it? 
the girl that was behind the cactus. Yeah, Haley Lutz. Chomp. Yeah, Haley Lutz, um, who reached out today and really liked our video. That made me feel really Aww. special. Uh, so, Haley, if you're watching or if you watch this, uh, you're awesome, and, and your chomp is awesome, too. This is such a great piece. It really um, is. If you guys want to see those chomps, we got three new ones. We posted a video today. Go back and watch that later on uh, when you have a chance. It's, it's a great video. I had a lot of fun making that one. Kagan McKenney says, can you do a video on Halloween house tour to show how you display your Halloween Funko Pops during the spooky season? Kagan, you must be late because we've talked at the beginning of the video. We're in the middle of moving. So yeah. we're going to be moving and probably won't have hardly anything displayed for Halloween besides maybe a couple of pumpkins that we hopefully are able to carve before Halloween. Um so we're not going to have that much fun this year. But if it helps, our house is always decorated for Halloween. <laughs> always. Um, aside from right now, because, you know, everything's put away. But it's a huge bummer that we're not able to have fun for Halloween this year. I mean, that's typically what we do. We typically have a great time. Um, I'm getting messages here. Decorating. Um, we typically have a great time decorating and all that jazz. But this year, that's not going to be happening. And that and that really sucks. Yeah. But we'll, we'll make the best of it. I will promise you that we will have an upcoming video about the closeout of the Gassel, old Gassel room. I'm going to do a, a just kind of a video of like kind of walking around documenting. It's really for me, but I want to share it with you guys, showing what the room looked like after we cleaned it all out, and there's nothing left in here. And it's really eerie it's sitting weird. in here now, looking around. My hot toys are all put away. Um, I'm doing that the other day. You know, it's funny. Um, let's switch off this for, for a second. We'll switch gears. Um, it's re really funny because Heather and I were um, down here cleaning up in, in the basement and uh, putting everything together and, and putting all the hot toys away and packing everything up. And I kind of looked at her and I said, man, you know, I, as happy as I am to get our new house, I, I'm really going to miss this place. I mean, the Gasocast uh, was born here. In fact, uh, if you guys have ever watched our old videos, we used to have like this little table that we would set at. And that table uh, is a table that we would basically set uh, a mic in the middle of it. And we would have all of our friends over and we would do these movie reviews. We'd go see movies in, in the theater. We would then come home, we would sit around a table, and we would all discuss the movie. And we called it Gasocast, and we would post these Gasocast sound clips on SoundCloud, on SoundCloud, um, where we would review movies. And that's kind of, excuse me, that's exactly what the Gasocast eventually, or uh, initially, was supposed to be. Um, but eventually, it turned into this. It turned into us talking about toys, and it, it all started because we got a Funko box from Funko, um, for, I won some, what did I win? Like a collector of 27, August, 2017. Um, so from uh, Funko fanatic of the week, yeah, is Funko fanatic of the week of August, 2017. So from p that point forward, uh, it was gas cast toy talk and whatever you guys see us do nowadays. And, you know, it's kind of weird, like stepping away from all of this and now moving into a new place. It's kind of, isn't it weird? Is it weird to you or is it just me? No, it's weird. Right? Like, we're yeah. going to have a new room where all of our stuff will be. So the plan is, um, not to get too far away from our NYCC Virtual Con 4 talk, we'll get back to that. But the plan is, I'm going to have a huge um, Gasocast logo kind of behind us, have it lit up. Maybe even a Gasly kind of lit up behind us, the Funko sign. Just have, like, a lot of really neat new things behind us. And we'll set it all up. I'm going to make it look really nice. It's going to take me a while. It's not going to be an overnight thing. Um, so we'll start off and do, you know, do our do our best um, with what we got, but I, I think, um, I think the new place is going to be really cool. I think, I think you guys are really going to dig the new look. I really do. Um, this happened like a couple months ago. So Funko news channel name FM got robbed. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Shrek master. I'd love to know. Um, Hey Aaron, welcome. Welcome. Good luck on the move. Can't wait to see how your new studio room. Hey, thank you, Marcus. Thank you, Marcus. I can't wait to see how it turns out either because we have no clue. <laughs> yeah, we have no idea. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be really crazy. Um, so we'll get there eventually. So, okay, Marty McFly. Back to Marty McFly. I, I love this Funko Bob. And if, if you don't like Back to the Future, then who gives a crap, right? But I think for all of those Back to the Future fans, this is sort of grail country. I think that this Funko Pop is going to pull... Um, I, I think this is going to be the most popular Funko Pop 
of 2020 in about a year from today. I think Maybe. that people are going to be fighting and killing each other over this thing yeah. because it is a very special one. It's a 3,000 count. It's from Plastic Empire. It was hard to get. I think that this is going to be one of those ones that's very, very, very much sought after. And I'm excited to see what the future brings. It's between this one and that Boba Fett being the 2020 rulers, in my opinion. Um, we totally slept on the on the Boba Fett, but I'm okay with that because I'm glad a real fan hopefully got it. Well, according to eBay, I'm sure real fans didn't get it. Oh, so Shrek Master was talking about um, Franklin McGinnis's house got robbed. Oh, my God. Well, that's that sucks. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I've... I don't know. I don't know what to say to that. So uh, that sucks for him. We we, <laughs> we accidentally in a new video posted our address and Heather was really fle freaking out and I was too. And I was like, well, it doesn't matter. It's two weeks from now. We're going to be moved out anyway. And she's like, that's not good. We definitely need to update that video and, and remove our address. So I did. I ended up putting like a little blur. blob blur thing over top. Yeah, of it. well, now the blur is in the front of the video as well. So. <laughs> so, I don't know how I screwed it up, but I totally screwed that up. Uh, so now you can see the blur all throughout the video. Um, how do you feel about 2020 for Funkos compared to 2019? This year, while was tragic and slowed down a lot, I will say this year's pops have been so dope. Yeah. You know, it's funny, um, uh, Snowden. I, in my opinion... I think that this year is much different than previous years because we haven't Funko does a lot of really cool things throughout the years. They have done a lot of cool things throughout the years. And I think that us being stuck at home, being trapped inside and really having Funko as our, I don't know, as our safe place. I think that my goodness up oh, a new, a new code must've dropped the new code. No, no. Okay. I'm getting messages. Oh yeah, it is. Is it a new code? Dang it, my phone's in the other room. Oh, can you get it? What so codes F? from by the way, codes have been dropping for Sideshow. We're we're up to a pretty good amount of money right now, thankfully. Oh, what, is you're not putting mine in? No, I'm putting mine in. Oh, very good. Fend so for hold on. when it comes to these codes. Wow. Well, thanks for thanks for um copying and pasting for me, Heather. I at least had that. Hold on, guys. Um <clears throat> okay, so that's I think I got it. Yep, there we go. Boom, it's two bucks. Um, I think this year that we were hyper focused on Funko, and I and I think that's that definitely made us. Um, I think it made a lot of Funko Pops stand out where in previous years they might not really stand out. Uh, so I, I'm I'm good. Um, I, I, although I think I'm sorry, I'm seeing Mr. Maserati. He's saying Funko Pops are worthless. I, I guess I would have to tell you this, Mr. Maserati. I think you showed up in the wrong. Uh, um, live feed. I mean, yeah, I think, I think you should think be somewhere so. else. I think you're in the wrong place. Um, what are sideshow codes? I'll give you a heads up quickly. Sideshow codes. Um, the best is to hunt for mini mint old school pops. I, I I'm totally but lost I with thought, this guy. I thought Funko who knows what he's talking. I don't know what he's talking about. I think 2020 made awesome, awesome Funko pops. I think um this year was dynamite, but I think that we focused hyper focused this year. Uh, more because we were stuck inside. That That's the, the, the short answer, Snowden. I'm sorry. I, there's so much going on. Um, okay. So what are sideshow codes? Well, during um, the different cons, there are these codes that are released that give you money on sideshow.com. So we have been collecting these codes. Um, I'm up, up to $101 right now, but I already had a couple bucks in the bank already. Um, but it's money you can use on sideshow product, which is great. So hot toys and sideshow um, you know, like busts and, and statues and things like that. So highly, um, highly suggest that you kind of pay attention, uh, to Sideshow and their codes. If you're not in a code group, we created one and, uh, uh, let, what is it? What's, what's the new one that's coming up? Spooktacular. Spooktacular. They always do a spooktacular, um, Sideshow during like the Halloween time. So you can collect codes then if you want to be in a code group. Go on Gaswell Cast We Hunt Together and Facebook and uh, post on there somewhere. Um, in fact, Heather, if you could go and post on the Gaswell Cast We Hunt Together group, or if somebody can, um, just saying, hey, if you want to be a part of a code group, uh, comment here. We'll add you to our current code group. And we've been sharing codes throughout the entire weekend. It's been awesome. And we've all gained a lot of money through it. 
You just have to be there at the right time because codes will actually time out uh, and and you'll miss them. You won't get them, unfortunately. I have a lot of money in my Sideshow account, but this is over like maybe four or five cons. You have a lot of money. I, I, I saw do. I earlier. could I could definitely buy a hot toy right now. Um, Dean Blockley, I've got some questions about that. All right, to send you guys a message about that later. If you're talking to us, Dean, always. You can always send us messages, dude. You know that. Yeah. <clears throat> Anytime. You don't have to ask. He does. He always thinks he's bothering me. He's like, sorry to bother you. No, never And bother. I'm like, you are you don't stop saying that. That goes for any of you guys. You guys ever have a question or you think that we might know something, just um, hit us up and we'll we'll do our best. We'll do our best to uh, to get you a good answer. And if I don't have a good answer, I'll do my best to find one. So here are all the exclusives that released. I do want to say that Red Goblin is still up on HotTopic.com as of this afternoon. So if you're looking for that one, he is still there. All of the other ones, I have not seen them posted, although I would not be surprised if we see more posted up throughout maybe this week randomly uh, and even maybe from Funko.com. They might even have uh, um, a bunch that they're going to post still as well. One thing I really, really want, and I don't know if somebody mentioned it to me today and I completely forgot about it. Um, I really want the, what's the little guy called? Uh, the candy corn, cutie corn, cutie corn. So cutie corn was something we were supposed to get like at the beginning of what, what the hell I hit the, I hit the picture. What's happening? Come on, cutie corn. There he is. So Cutie Corn was supposed to, we were thinking it was going to drop well before Halloween, and we still haven't gotten this one. This is something I really, really want. I, I don't really want a whole lot of the um, Funko characters, but this is one that really stands out to me. I love Halloween. I love the way this character looks. So hopefully we get this soon. I'm thinking if at all, it'll be dropped probably maybe the week of Halloween, do you think? Or maybe even in store. They were talking about an in store release and then they changed the sticker. Yeah, I don't know. Saying that it'll now be online. So who knows? Um, Dylan Bryan, are we excited for the new Ghost album? I, I saw that it's going to be dropping next, um, what is it, next next winter, I think. So that's cool. I'm, I'm really excited. I've been told that Cutie Corn was not going to be a U.S. release. Joshua G, that's <laughs> interesting. I haven't heard that. I haven't read that anywhere. Um, hopefully that's not true. I guess we'll have to see originally it was supposed to be a Funko shop drop. I thought they would drop so many um, that it would take a while for them to sell out. Maybe like make 15,000 of them. I think Funko realized how popular it was and then decided to change it up and not sell it as an in-store item. We talked about not too long ago in a video that they're doing a bunch of in-store Funko HQ drops late, uh, lately. Um, this happened before NYCC. In fact, <clears throat> I have an incredible Hulk upstairs that came from there. A friend of ours sent it to us. That really bums me out because it's really hard for all of us to get Funko Shop exclusives now. Now they're in-store only. So you have to know somebody in order to get one. And that really stinks because the Incredible Hulk is a really cool one. Although I understand why they only dropped that in-store because it's based off the Incredible Hulk that is in-store. But man, I you know, I want to see more Funko items go up again, for Funko Shop items. It's That has like seemed to have died. Um, and I think that has a lot to do with the Funko site really sucking lately and not doing so well. You agree? I agree. Are you with me or are you not with me? I'm mostly with you. Okay. Um, they don't sell Halloween in other countries, people. They don't people. celebrate I just Halloween. said that. You celebrate. said they don't sell. I said they don't celebrate. No, you oh. said they don't sell. Okay. Well, I meant celebrate. I can't wait to go back and rewatch this and prove you wrong. I need cutie corn with TJ. Okay. TJ is a cool one. Um, we need an East Coast store. Caesar, I completely agree with that. Not having an East Coast store really sucks. Although I don't know where they'd put it. Maybe New York. That would be cool. It would be nice if they put it close by to us, like in D.C., but I can't see that ever happening. Me neither. If, if it would be on the East Coast, I would assume New York, but yeah. I'd rather them not because I'm not a huge fan of New York City. Another member in the group told me information, but not sure who we talked to. Yeah, I, so I don't know. I, I'm not sure if, if it being an out-of-country release i don't know that i don't know that for a fact and if that is a fact damn that's going to be really really um tough let's let's keep our fingers crossed that they do a wide release for this particular funko pop i just want to talk about him for a moment um just because i just love that funko pop i think he's great i think it's one of the greater funko pops of um of 2020 yeah. although we don't have it yet but i think it's one of the greater ones um okay 
So to close this out, because we've been talking for almost an hour now, and Heather and I have, we, we're very tired. And I would like to watch a horror movie tonight if I could. Horror time, it's Halloween time. Really? Me too. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so glad that we are on the same page tonight, because we aren't always. So all in all, I think that this Funko Virtual Con 4 was great. I think yes. that dropping it on uh, um, a Funko Lottery was great. I thought that them dropping a bunch on Funko eight, um, uh, Funko.com was great. Um, and I like the fact that we didn't know the limited number counts or how, however you want to say that. I'm glad we didn't know that they were limited until almost the very end. Right. And it would have been nice to find that out when you were buying them. Mm -hmm. Because imagine Snake Plissken. Like people, certain people wouldn't have purchased Snake Plissken. Snake Plissken could have probably lasted a lot longer oh, hell if yeah. people did not know that he was a limited Absolutely. one. I think Ben would have been another one, although I think the bloody version, you know, him just having blood on him made him almost instantly a uh, grail for a lot of people because yeah. they like bloody Funko Pops. But I, I think that making the limited number sort of a hidden thing is great, and I hope they go forward. Shocker to me that the two ad icons were the last to sell on Funko.com when they were released to the public. Um, another shocker to me is the fact that the house, the Funko house, the one from Harry Potter is up to $185 on the Funko app right now. It cannot be accurate. I just saw that the other day. It's really crazy to me because that was the very last item up on Funko. And I think it might still be there for purchase. I think so too. So why anybody would be paying that kind of money for it? I don't know. Heather, your final thoughts on uh, virtual con four i think it was very successful i'm bummed that there was so much hate around the lottery system because i i, I do understand why there was hate um because you know eleven thousand people got in 11 th that's not a lot in the grand scheme of things um but they they did do a horrible job at explaining what the con would be like for the general public they made it sound like if there is anything at all left over, it will be put up for the peasants on Friday. No, they reserved Funko Shop exclusives for people to purchase on Friday, not just the lottery Well, winners. that's what we said was going to happen. Yeah, but Funko didn't say it, and they should have said it, and it really bums me out because it had people stressing and upset and cursing and angry and, you know... Can I, can I quickly make a point? Yes. Um, I'm seeing where were the other cons. NYCC was four. SDCC was three. I'm assuming ECCC was one. And then what was number two? Somebody mentioned WonderCon. For the longest time, I made a video uh, about uh, GalaxyCon not being VirtualCon 4. I said it's, it's GalaxyCon, VirtualCon Galaxy Edition or something. And people were, <laughs> people were fighting with me that that was VirtualCon four so then i started to think okay if that's virtual con four then and people were fighting me enough i'm like well maybe they know something i don't i started calling this con virtual con five only to find out that this was virtual con four and galaxy edition was just galaxy edition uh, edition with no number yeah. um so hopefully going forward in the future they make it very obvious that it's like this is this one this is that one Th these are the numbers and then this one is just oh, kind of who an gives offshoot a shit about the numbers <clears throat> it's no, nycc no, who no, cares no but the, i like that the numbers i want to see them continue with the numbers okay. i would like to see oh. virtual con 5 yes, as the next one that's no it's no it's, no it is it's important it's, i think no, it i think it's important if you're going to continue doing virtual cons they need to keep the numbers on there i think they can just call it nycc but anyway, you can't call it NYCC because it wasn't NYC. I mean, what are you talking about? But it about? is, though. It is NYCC. It has an NYCC sticker, does it not? Well, this is fall convention, but the NYCC ones will say NYCC. But there was really no NYC. You and I have been agreeing on this for a long time. There really wasn't a New York Comic Con I other than the one that. online. So and, this is virtual. And I'm with you, like, on the stickers and all, but. I want to see the number scheme continued. I, yeah, I don't know. If they're care gonna do that. it, I want them to the do it. The one big complaint that I have about this convention is the fact that Funko Shop, Hot Topic, Box Lunch, Barnes and Noble, Target, every shared retailer along with Funko dropped at the exact same time. Right. Every retailer dropped at the same time. Normally, so this is what normally goes down. And I oh can't I can't tell you what I would prefer. Normally, you have to wait until midnight or later, mm -hmm. and the box, the box, the the big stores will drop their shared pops, 
and it's never at an exact set time. You'll say, okay, box lunch is up. Oh, well, uh, Target just went up. Or uh, Walgreens went up. But that's not normally for like three days later or something crazy. Well, like, it was sometimes. Well, you never know with Walgreens. Yeah, they're Walgreens. Great, they're real, oh, my God. Walgreens is crazy. But, but the problem is every single shared exclusive store dropped at the exact same time. And if you didn't get what you wanted on Funko Shop, you had to prioritize what you wanted from other stores. And I think they should have been staggered. Do I agree with the way they did it before where they didn't exactly announce what exact time the retailer shared uh, pops would go live? No. Did I agree with them dropping everything at 9 a.m. PST? No. Which would I prefer? Neither. I wish they would say, okay, box lunch is 9 a.m. Hot Topics 10. This is 11. This right, is 12. Right. I think everybody gets your point. Yeah. Everybody so understands your point. So that was absolute hell. Okay. So here's the deal. Um, we have to hold give on. away. We have to give this guy away. Really we have, quick. We have, we have a lot of questions here. So hold I on. I know. Hold on. Uh, Billy Holden <laughs> asks, what does the name Gasocast mean? Yes. Okay. So Gasocast. So my our last name is Gast. Okay. Somebody came to our house and called our house the Gasol. Like, instead of castle, like a king's castle, they called it the gassel. So I was like, oh, that's funny, gassel. And then podcast, cast, gassel, cast. Because originally we were a podcast, then we turned into what we are today. Um, what, are, what are you doing now? Grabbing the... the grabbing, oh, my grabbing God. The mouse. I'm going to lose my mind. What are you doing? Stop grabbing the fingers. mouse. I need I gotta, the mouse. No, I got to flick I gotta flick through the pictures, Heather. What oh, my God, doing? Chris, I'm going to lose it. No, what, what do you want? Tell me what you want. I want... The fucking mouse whoa no cursing on you. i there cursed could be children there's no children i saw somebody you're in there. the only children here and him i saw somebody in in the comment section talking about what they're dressing up for halloween it sounded like a child to me um are you not dressing up for halloween is that what it is i don't know but what you're doing you're not getting us anywhere okay, okay. here we go we're gonna give we're gonna give away a yoda but first i want to talk about some of the tiny ghosts while we're on the subject of New York Comic Con. So Tiny Ghost released a bunch of Tiny Ghosts. They made it like this virtual con. Let's see, there it is. Virtual Ghost Nation drop. They did it every single day and they dropped a bunch of items per day. You taking the mouse like really killed a lot of time. I just want to say that. We could have been done a long time ago if it weren't for you doing that. So this guy was awesome. The Bones of Light. Somebody, by the way, in the comment section said that you're always right and not I to fight with you. Right. And that's true. You're my wife, and you're always right. So the Bones of Light was a really cool one. Went after this, didn't get it. Nope. Bones of Gold, really liked this one. Limited edition 350. It. Went after it, didn't get it. I didn't. Bones of Earth, liked this one. 100 count, didn't get it. Bones of Blood, loved this one. Probably the most out of all of them. Limited edition, 100, didn't get it. Then, there was... This guy, who was really awesome, barely lives, from the, f the film. It's based off of the film They Live. Didn't get that one. However, this one and Boons of Gold, a, friends of, a friend of ours helped us with. Yay! So we are getting these. I, I really wanted this barely. It's a really different looking barely. Then there was the Waldgeist, which our friend also offered us, but I didn't really want that one. This is one I really wanted, Boons of Smoke. He's a $100 count. I'm a hundred dollar, a hundred dollar, a hundred, a hundred number count for $30. Didn't get him. Um, then Heather really wanted superstar. This is a one fifty count, $30 each. Didn't get that one either. Nope. Um, so these weren't dropped for the paradormal society, which is what I'm a part of. So you get early access to buy some of this stuff. Unfortunately, not lucky enough to get any of this stuff myself. Although <clears throat> if they had the paradormal society, they couldn't have dropped much because there's only 100 counts of some of this stuff. This pin was really cool, though. Yeah. Isn't he neat? Yeah, he's really cool. It opens. It has a hinge. Yeah, it's, I really dig that one. Um, oh, see, Kagan's a child. Uh, Don't you feel stupid now? No. Um, okay. Cover your ears, Kagan. Let's give away this Yoda. Who wants a Yoda? I'm sure somebody wants a Yoda. Oh, and Aaron says, I'm a children. Population says, I'm a teenager. That. The profanity. See, if you want to know who has a dirty mouth in this house, you know. So we're going to do a random number generator because I think that's the easiest way of doing this. What are you generating? Like, what? Like, what is the point of doing this? I'm pulling it up on my phone. But what? Like, what are you doing? Who are you numbering? 
I'm about to tell them. Oh, okay. Is that okay with you? I mean, just prepare for the... Onslaught? Yep. Okay, this is the number. I do want to say at the beginning of all this, <clears throat> and I just typed it out to Heather, um, if you live out... What of... is it between, Chris? I'm going to write it out. Will okay. you calm down? My goodness. You're like on fire tonight. Why are you writing it out in there? <clears throat> because this is where we're going to do it. You're going to say it out loud. But you... Why are you generating a number if you sent me a number? Oh, you... yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. Damn. You're right. Heather's He's right. Confu- I am so sorry, guys. <clears throat> we don't normally argue, but Chris oh, is Oh, like... we don't normally argue. Okay, so there it is. Chris is like an idiot tonight. Sorry. Okay, so there's the number. So we're going to do... 1 through 40. So go ahead and start typing in your numbers 1 through 40. If you want this guy, take guesses of what number Chris picked. He did not use a random number generator. He no. just sent it to me. Um, 1 through 40. Boom. And Dean Blockley Keep, asked, will, will Heather ever do a trivia again? Probably not. No, I got beat to hell. When I, when I did <clears> trivia. <throat> we tried doing that and it, it, turned into a, it turned into a big battle. So, I'm going to let you all know that we see different things on our screen versus what you see on your screen. So, what we see as a winner is the winner, and that's it. So, I'm sorry if you don't win. Oh, we have a, a winner. winner. Um, I just want to say if you live outside the country, and the winner, I believe, lives in the country. No, he lives in the country. He does live in country. But in future giveaways, when we do... The can can giveaways you just like, say a on, winner? Because we, otherwise, on, we're going to have the chat hold on, blow up. Hold on. We've already picked a winner. Um, but if we do future, when we do future giveaways, just have in mind that <clears throat> when, um, when we, when you, when you win and you, am I, what the hell is going on? If you live out of country, we'll pay the first $5 you pay for the rest. Jeez. The first how many dollars? You said we first five, pay- first, first $5. I'm having a stroke, Heather. I'm having oh, a okay. medical problem. Okay. So the winning number, the winning number, we've already Found the person. You can stop your numbers. The winning number is 33. And the person who put out 33 first was our good pal, King Elmo. Congratulations, so, King Elmo. Congratulations, King Elmo. Why don't you King show Elmo. them that you actually picked 33? What are you doing? I'm just I'm selecting it. Chris, you can pull it up on Facebook. There. Here it is. I got it. What are you... What are you doing? What are you doing? This is not proof what you're doing. It is proof. How is it not proof? I just screenshot it. Oh, I see yeah. what you're doing now. So there's the screenshot. It was 33, 1 through 40. So boom, we have our winner. So congratulations to King Elmo. Congratulations. Yes. Sorry, this was very um, Wonky disorganized. Yeah. yeah, that's what happens when Chris does giveaways and you yell at me for doing trivia. So you're welcome. Never doing trivia again because I get yelled at. But um, things are a mess when Chris does random numbers. So, you know. Okay, so what I'm going to do is pull up the... Let's see if we can find it. They should be here somewhere. Here they are. So here are... Here are the chomps that dropped. So the chomps, in my opinion, were the best in show as far as NYCC goes. This is what I was most excited about. Here they are. So here's the chomp. Now this is based off of the Liberty chomp that dropped last year. So they made a patina one. The patina chomp is so dope. I'm so excited that they did this. I was hoping that they would do another variation of Liberty because it's such an epic piece and they did. So I'm really, really excited about that. Okay. So the Liberty chomp, hopefully you guys were able to get your hands on some of this stuff that we're showing. Then they also did a pin that's based off of that Liberty Chomp. Last year they dropped a, a Chomp pin like this as of Liberty. I have it, but it's on my Funko jacket, I believe. I have it pinned on there, but it was slightly different than this one. Then you have the I Chomp New York Chomp, which is really great. I like this one a lot because it's different. We don't have anything like this, um, you know, from the past. But this is really cool because they can do more um chomps like this but with different t-shirts did you think about that yeah i think that's really cool they could do one with a trash t-shirt that would be cool and last but not least excuse me they can do uh, i'm sorry last but not least there's the i chomp new york shirt which was a limited edition of 100 i almost went for the shirt but i decided not to i decided just to go for the chomps and i decided to go for the pin 
because I thought that pin would be cool on my jacket next to the old one. So that's cool. Right? Yep. Are you happy? About what? All of the drops for this year. No. You're not. My wallet is very sad. What was your favorite drop that you picked up this uh, particular New York Comic Con, Heather? I'm going to blow everybody's mind. Are you ready? Go ahead. The Burrow. No, no. I mean, like, how about of the Chomps and the Tiny Ghost stuff? Is there anything that oh. stands out? Like, you didn't have to. Like, let's say you didn't have to get it. Something that was like you stood out as your favorite. Uh, I really like the Superstar Tiny Ghost. Ah, uh, that's right. I really wanted that Superstar Tiny Ghost. Like, I really, really, really wanted that. And I... It, this is horrible. I actually had a doctor's appointment at 2 p.m. on the day that it dropped, and it dropped at 2 p.m. So I walked into my doctor's appointment at 2.03, and I'm normally, like, minutes and minutes early. But because there was a drop, I sat in my car and waited for it and tried to grab it, and I still failed. But that was the only one that I tried for that I was actually able to get in my cart at least. Mm. But it sold out by the time I put my information in. So, uh, Let's see. What was your favorite pop of NYCC? Peyton Walker asks, and he asks it on several times. It looks like five times total wow. so far. Um, my very favorite pop of this con, personally, was probably Marty McFly. But um, the one that I owned, the one that I was able to get through Heather, was Snake Plissken. I'm really, really excited about that You pop. were able to get that? Yeah, Heather got it for me. Heather, what, your favorite pop was the the burrow. The burrow. Okay, the burrow yes. was your favorite. And Mermaid okay, Man and Barnacle Boy. I really like the mostly Mermaid Man. Barnacle Boy excellent. is just an add-in. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, and uh, looks like Kagan is saying, "Wait, why do you want to give it to me?" I guess I'm lost on that, um, but that's okay. So, oh, King Elmo wants to give his winnings to Kagan. Oh, that's nice. Excellent. That's so sweet of you, Kagan. Wow, that's really, well, that's really sweet. Kagan, can you, can you email us and give us your mailing address? Uh, gasocast at gmail.com. Please. Now, I do want to end this episode or this live with something special. You know, you got to see us talk about NYCC and Virtual Con. We talked a little bit about our move. So our move is uh, going to come up here very, very soon. It's going to be really rough. I can tell you that right now. But we'll have more content out there for you. Uh, to make you guys all have, uh, to, to be excited, to have something to watch, something that's from the gas cast, a prize from us to you, a gift from us to you, even though we are going through so much turmoil in our move. Uh, but the final thing I wanted to talk about and show you is something I found while digging around down here and moving things around, something that a lot of you may not even remember, something that we put together a long time ago before Ghastly. It's a character that became sort of a, a favorite on the Gasol cast. Oh, no. You found him? It's the Twinkie <laughs> <laughs> with the big fake mustache. Now, why was he so big? Well, Twinkie was so big because we ended up buying, a, was it a mystery box? You bought a mystery box. Was it from Big Apple Collectibles? I think so. It was $35, and he got this, a common Twinkie the Kid. Twinkie the Kid. So to make it better, we decided to put this mustache on. And do you want to tell the story about why the mustache is so funny, or do you want me to tell it? Um, I can tell it because you tell stories horribly. So <clears throat> the, one night, I had a, 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 a sheet of fake mustaches. I and won them because I made our Halloween costumes one year and we won a costume contest and a pack of fake mustaches came in with it along with a gift card and like some Halloween pencils and fun Halloween stuff. Here, they, they want a uh, Twinkie mustache. Oh, mustache Twinkie voice. Hey guys, how are you doing? <laughs> so it's howdy, like, howdy partner. It's, it's handy squirrel. If he came from Texas. Wonder about want to see my nuts? Um, yeah. So anyway, this um, this guy became kind of a fixture on the gas cast a long, long time ago, and I and I dug him up. So the fake mustache comes from this. Heather had this uh, sheet of fake mustaches. I was in the other room. Heather went and laid down in bed, and you know, of course, it was time to go to sleep. So I'm digging around and like I don't know, making my lunch for the next day or something, and I see the sheep sitting there. So I pulled off one of the fake mustaches brush my teeth, 
put the fake mustache on, climbed in the bed. By the way, he didn't have a mustache at this point. Right. He only had like a boy I band the, chin I, strap. I had the chin strap. I look like one of the, yeah, I look like a boy band. Um, but I get in bed and I look, I kind of like flipped over and looked at her with my fake mustache. And I said something like, hey, you want to give me a kiss? Something, I don't know, it was something stupid. Uh-huh. And her and I laughed for so long. <clears throat> I was almost like, I think we were about to pee our pants. Yeah, um, we laughed for like 30 minutes straight. So that's where the fake mustache comes from. The Twinkie, on the other hand, was from uh, from our f- failed mystery box. I don't even remember where it was from. God, I was so pissed about that. Someone says, call him Twinkie the Man. Twinkie the Man. You know, he has been around a long time. He probably is a man by now. He is. Did somebody say nuts? Um, okay. Did you like my Twinkie the Kid? Hey, guys, how you doing out there? No. You like my big fake mustache? <laughs> <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Okay. Oh, Mr. Compress is back live on Hot Topic, so if you want him, you better run off and get him now. Guys, it has been lovely to hang out with you. I'm glad you were able to sit here and watch us and hang it's out, out with us. It's out of and... stock. That's why you don't read comments. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um. Well, maybe it's out of stock now. No, it... it... Give Marcus, uh, give Marcus the benefit Marcus of the doubt. Marcus is trying to get people to be out of here. You I don't like ma- it, Marcus. You guys make stories come alive. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hold on. For old time's sake, can you put the mustache on and show them, like, why no, we no, spent- No, 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 It's dirty, Heather. I'm not putting that on. Seriously, I'm not putting it on. Just leave it on there. Because it, it's, it's, it's like- damn it. Are it's, you serious? It's like coming off. Like, I, I want to keep him, I want to keep him mustached, mustachio, okay? There he is. Okay. Can't oh my God, Heather! It is it like tonight? Like you just want to fight with me all night? Is that what this is? I just want you to put the mustache you on. You dropped my, the mic like five times because I made good points before this live. She's walking past and starts unplugging everything. I didn't mean to. It's unbelievable. Wouldn't it be great? He goes, "We Donald ducking together." Wouldn't it have been great if, like, at the end of this live, I stand up and you just see my bare buttocks and I'm walking away? It wouldn't be great because nobody wants to see that. Not my hog me. though. Like I'd have my hog like all uh, hidden. Oh, uh, Ear Ear Rape Express. Oh, my God. That's a hell of a name. That's 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 why I didn't read their name earlier. They are the one that said Twinkie the Man. That is the greatest. That is the greatest name ever. Ear Rape Express. That sounds like somebody's term. uh, You know, if they heard Screamo for the first time and they absolutely hated it. Um, Congratulations on Marty. That's awesome. Uh, Guys, thank you for hanging out with us and BSing with us. We'll be back on Wednesday to hang out yet again with you. Look out for a new video coming out every day of the week. As uh, as long as my little heart can take it. If you guys aren't a part of the Gasocast We Hunt Together group, highly suggest you go on Facebook. You join the group. It's a great group full of great people hunting together. And uh, also, Jacques Morgan, our good pal, is still running uh, the the um, charity? charity. Jeez. The charity raffle. Totally go over and check out the charity raffle. Heather, can you um, put that in the comments section? Uh, copy and paste. the. It's Collects and Cares. Go there and check it out. I know you spent a lot of money um, during New York Comic Con, but think about maybe throwing in five bucks um, towards this great uh, cause. It's all going to go to cancer um, uh, donation. Um, it's it's great. It's for cancer, the Cancer Society, uh, St. Jude's. It's an awesome, awesome thing that you're doing if you even put in $5, okay? So take a look at the website. She's going to post it in the group. Not uh, and, uh, only are you donating, but you also get the chance to win some really cool prizes. Um, if you have any questions. Can you put it in there now, babe? If you have any questions, you can email us. There is um, an email address on the website, um, but it's pretty self-explanatory. So basically, you donate $5 for one ticket. $20 for six tickets, and you can email us or put in your uh, PayPal notes that you want this lot, this lot, or this lot. Absolutely. Yeah. So make sure you're doing, make sure you go and check it out at least. And uh, and if you are putting your money in, make sure you email and let us know, let Jacques know what you want to put your money towards. There are so many cool things in there to put your money towards to include a bunch of uh, Black Panther Funko Pops and assortment sets. Um, there's a, a lot of X-Men figures. There's so many cool things there. Do not, uh, sleep on this. It, it's so neat. And you're doing a really good thing by, uh, by, by helping out, uh, with this cancer donations. Okay. Uh, or the cancer charity. 
Last but not least, go and check out The Office Orientation. It's an awesome podcast that Heather is running. It's all about the television show The Office. It's Heather's journey of watching The Office for the very, very first time. And it is really, really good. Heather spends a lot of time putting it together. And uh, I've listened to every episode all the way through, and she just does a brilliant job. So go and check out The Office Orientation. You can find that at Anchor.fm. You can find it on Google Podcast. Google Play. Google Play. Um, Apple Podcast. Apple Podcast. Stitcher. You can find it where any podcast is uh, uh, found. So go and uh, look it up. It's the only office orientation. Also at the office orientation on Instagram. Go and follow her and, and give her a listen. Uh, check out her Instagram and like some of her stuff. Let's let's get this hype train going for Heather. Okay, guys. Um, but hey, listen, that's all for us tonight, guys. We'll be back on Wednesday. Look out for new videos coming your way very, very soon. Remember, as always, we hunt together. Yes. Catch you next time. Bye.